Hello guys and welcome to a brand new vlog. Black. Let me just tell you guys, I have been binge watching Harry Potter movies for the past for the past week and it has been messing me up with my schedule. Like look at me, it's like almost one o'clock and I just woke up. So I'm gonna try to, you know, catch up and get all my stuff done. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some breakfast super quick. I'm gonna go work, work out. I'm gonna work. That's, that's bread. I'm gonna make bread. Do you want to go to acting class? Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Bro, do you guys think I should put Balcom in acting class? Comment down below. Let me know. Oh my god. I thought your foot hurt. I, let me see your foot oh, right now. Because you're out here kicking, jumping. His foot is so much better, guys. Like, look at him. Back to normal. <laughs> so many of you guys were worried for Balcom and you guys were saying to take him to get a tetanus shot. And we learned that in one of the vaccines that he got when he was little that already had the tetanus shot in it. And his foot's not getting swollen or anything and it's fine. So I really don't think he needs it. And like I'm watching out for him to see if it's red, swollen, if he has a fever, anything. And he's fine. Like he's literally acting like himself. So today, since Malcolm is better, where are we going to go today? Hello. Karate class. You guys know how I can sing really good. So lately, I've been practicing a lot and my voice is even better now. Baby, baby. That's wrong words. Baby, 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 when you kiss me like that, when you hold me like that, it was more than the wind. So we're gonna go ahead and go to our guest house and get the TV that we have in the guest house and bring it over here to our house because you see our living room right now. So when we first moved into this house, well, before that in the apartment and then before that so we're time traveling back right so before this the apartment before that the other house that we lived on my living room Black was white house. shit my couch my expensive couch shit Wait, my carpet why? shit because it? my kids were little and they just destroyed everything because they were little they jumped on the couch they had dirty feet they ate snacks on the couch whatever they're little whatever right so then when we moved into the apartment oh. We, it was small, so like I didn't really care. I was like, whatever, whatever. So then we moved into this house. I was like, I make it. You see, look. I'm like, I make. And, and let me get this right, right? It's not because my floors are dirty, because I do not allow shoes in this house. My floors are clean. You can walk in my house all day, and your feet won't be black. It's because we were playing outside. Get Bro, that right. Get okay, it right. Okay, okay. Here goes. Here goes. She doesn't let people with shoes in her house, but she lets her kids barefoot outside, and then come in barefoot inside. So it makes it even worse. It's grass and dirt, not like pee and poop and feces from like public areas. This is, they're playing in nature. It's different. So we moved in this house. I was like, you know what? Like, I'm gonna have a really nice living room. I don't want the kids in there. There's not gonna be a TV. It's gonna be like a nice formal li uh, living room. So I was like, okay, bet. So we've been in this house for a year. And recently, I was like, you know what? Like, we don't even use this living room. It's not cozy. It's not comfy. It's like so formal that like we don't even hang out there. We hang out more in the kitchen. Like every time when we have friends and family over and everything, it's always in the kitchen. And I was like, you know what? Like, I really want to be able to chill in my living room and like have a comfy living room. Like, forget the formal shit. You know what I'm talking about? And my kids are old enough that they know better. So Lewis and I, we decided that we are going to transform our living room into a cozy well, decided, living. Decided. I didn't decide. You decided and I, I brought I it agreed. upon. I brought the idea upon you, and then you agreed. I so agree, we agree. decided. Look at me. Look at me. How do you? I was just talking about better. how you know better, and you're over here climbing on the things. You're gonna break the handle in the kitchen. Can you relax and, and chill? And he clogs toilets. Look, look at this thing. He pulled this thing down so hard. Now look at the water pressure. That's literally the water pressure right now. The point is, teach your kids. Teach your kids because the sink's broken. Like things They're are broken on, on the my house. The, the couch used to be shit. You know what's the bad part too? Is that they don't go to school. Million dollar house, but have it's shit. It's not one million. It's three million dollar house. Multi million dollar house, but have shit broken everywhere because not because the things aren't good. Because your kids, you're not teaching them. And they're your kids no, too. Your kids. They're your kids too. Your kids. Guys, who point to your dad. Why are you pointing to me? It's looking because we're in your belly. Oh, Why wow. are you pointing at me? Oh, wow. This is your father. Look, it takes two to tangle, right? But, but, we tangled in bed, so you can tangle when it comes to parenting. Comes parenting. We're getting a new couch in two days. In two days. You guys are gonna change your lives, and I'm gonna give you the biggest speech you ever had in your life. And you're gonna and you're, and you're gonna clean your feet and stop clogging toilets and stop breaking my sink and stop yeah. breaking things around the house. Thank you. Only, the only things you'd be touching is your toys. That's all. Attention. Hi. Do you guys understand? Yes, sir. No, sir. Put your tongue inside when you say sir. No, yes, sir. Put it inside. <laughs> What are you guys doing? <laughs> we're gonna drive to the guest house. Literally, the guest house is right there. The only reason we're taking the car is we need to put the TV in there. So don't think we're lazy people, because we're not. Wow, Levy! Are you 
Are you my Uber driver? Yeah. Yeah. No. That's why you're sabotaging the Uber driver. That doesn't I'm feel like the club. It is fair. You always drive, Malcolm. We're going back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, baby. How could I not think of that? Leave the rocks over there. <laughs> Today was one of those days, bro. Today was one of those days. Do you like the skateboards? Uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Which one do you like? I like this robot one. Take that to the car. Where are you taking it to the room? Because you know he has that Ninja Turtle skateboard. By the way, the Ninja Turtles movie, there was only a limited amount of skateboards made for that movie, and Balcom has one of them, so we're going to hang in his room. So I was going to see if he wanted any of these, but I was looking at this and I was like, yeah, there's like a girl lips. So I was like, not that one. And then I saw this one, and I was like, maybe he could have this one for his room. And then it said, Child of Hell. And I was like, definitely not. And it's like, I saw him. No, there you go. No, demo no, the demonio. Child of Hell. Get something out of that Child of Hell. Ready? Ready. Pulling up? Yeah. Okay, lift. Yeah. Uh, it's heavy. Hold on. Uh, my hands hey, are very follow. slippery right now for some reason. Well, really? How slippery? You're going to have to drop it? Careful, the pull behind you. Okay. Ready? You got it? Yeah. Okay. I have to lean more, push it more. Hold on, hold on. So it can fit in. There. That should be good, right? Yeah. My hands hurt. I'm sweating. I was stressed. Well, that TV's heavy. How big is this TV? 80. 80 inches. He got money. He got money. Oh, my shoulders are sore. Really? Sorry. You know, one time. Hey, where'd we leave Junie one time? For like, in the garage. Oh, yeah. So Junie was in the garage in our gym for like a good three hours and it was like pitch black in there and like time, the day went by and I was like where's Junie and for some reason I was like I think she's in the gym and we went in there and Junie heard us like talking looking for her and she started barking like saying like I'm here I'm here so she has a trauma of being left in rooms right Junie how could we have done that to you how how I'm could sorry, I'm how sorry I'm sorry please don't leave this family you know the other vlog when you were running for the kids for their go-karts everybody was laughing because they said you run really funny with the car a crop top so can you show us how you're running in? Really? Yeah, go. Go, babe, pretend, come on. Like, pretend like the kids are like... Yeah, go. I want to I catch you running from the back. No, you weren't running like that. You were running different. Oh, like this? You were running like... You didn't know which way to go. Yeah, 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 like that. Yeah. Wait, turn around, turn around. I want to catch them from the back. You go. <laughs> All right, hurry. Get in the car. Let's leave him. Go. Say hey, drove for mommy. Yeah. yeah. There. There, there, there. I wanted to slide him. You got it? But have it here. Okay, so now for a second. Oh. Against this, right? Yeah, for a second. Or wait, actually. Nobody no. go next to this TV. It will fall and squish your toes. That was a lot. Stressing. That was stressful. That was intimidating. That was, you know, the vibes. I was gonna go to the gym today, but I was just like so unmotivated. But I'm gonna try to go, even if it's for like 30 minutes. But what do you guys think about my progress? I know that you guys see me going to the gym a lot more, like actually All right. super dedicated. And I'm actually doing a lot of weightlifting compared to before I was doing either like Pilates or cardio, but now I'm like focused on weightlifting. And I don't know if you guys can notice. Yo, guys. All right, and now we are in the process of the TV mount. And the TV is going to go right over here. We just always, we've had this blank for a year, right? And we just never, we were thinking about a big picture frame, a mirror. Like, we were just thinking a bunch of things. And I'm kind of, hold on, I'm, I'm talking. And I'm kind of happy that we didn't do anything because look at us just resorting, resorting to putting a TV here. Now that we want like a cozy living room, somewhere we can actually hang out in, ah, no. I was like, this couch is really not going to work. It, it only fits so many people. It's not, it's comfy, but not enough for you to like want to like lay down in, in a sense, you know? So we went to the store, Rooms to Go, now sponsored, and we saw like this really nice like sectional couch. So we went ahead and bought it last week and it gets here Friday morning. So it's gonna be so comfy, it's gonna be so cozy. Like I went to Home Goods yesterday and I bought some things for the couch for the living room, even though the couch isn't even here. I got this green pillow for the couch. The couch is like a cream um, beige color and I want the vibes to be beiges, greens, earth tones, plants, like woods, you know, like wooden stuff, like that type of vibe. So I got this pillow right here because I already have this pillow and I really like it and look, it matches so good. And then I already have this pillow. So look at the look at the scheme so far. Like look at the vibes, right? Like this is cozy vibes. Like this is gonna look so good on our new couch. And then I got this blanket. It's Christmas vibes, but I was like, you know what? It doesn't matter. I like it. 
I like it for the holidays right now. It's very cozy. And you guys know me, 100% cotton. I don't like polyester. Polyester is plastic, if you guys didn't know. Why would you wanna cover yourself with plastic, you know what I'm saying? So I got this. And look at this plant that I have right here. So you guys feel the vibes, like you guys understand like the vibes that I'm going for. Update, so we're doing the wall mount and Louis has told me like three times to get my head out of my ass. You had your head in your fat ass. Behind all the house projects, all the hanging, all the curtains, all the TVs, there's always Brampty. Cause bro, if it were up to me, if it were up to me, I'd make 10,000 holes, mess the whole thing up. Holy crap, you're vlogging your damn chin. So in the beginning of this, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna sit back, be on my phone, not do anything. Cause I usually like get very involved in help. I'm like, let me not do anything. He was stressing. He was stressing and I was like, here I go. So I started helping, but I was like, I'm gonna help minimally, right? He started stressing and I was like, damn it. Now I'm gonna put on my whole ass thinking cap and freaking help fully. And it all works out. This goes to show you, you can't do things on your own. You need it's me. It's because you have patience and I have ADHD. Need... I have sensory overload, ADHD. You told me to get my head out of your ass. I did. You had your head in your ass. So. Apologize to me. I apologize, baby. I'm so sorry. No, don't kiss me. Look at him getting the Amazon packages. Thank you, my man. So we're back to doing the TV mount. Louis literally went today, like how long was the drive for you? Like 35, 40 minutes? To a different store. Because yesterday the TV mount that you saw us installing was so cheap and the wall mount, like when we were doing it, all I heard was like the wall like, kind of cracking and I was like, and I, I started freaking out because that TV is heavy. And I was like, Louis, it's cracking. Like, and I started getting so nervous and so much anxiety and the wall mount ended up bending. So we're like, oh my God, what are we gonna do? So we weren't able to do it. So then Lewis drove and got a, how much was that wall mount by the way? Like $300, right? 400. And our couch comes tomorrow. Falcom got hurt again. Falcom just keeps on getting hurt. So the kids asked me to ride the go-karts and I said, yes, you can go ahead and ride the go-karts. And it's my fault because every single time they ride the go-karts, I'm always out here watching them because they're still getting the hang of it. And of course you need like, adult supervision you know they're only they're only little kids but this time i was like in the middle of doing something and i was like you know what like i'm gonna just let them ride it and i told them I'm like just make sure you're being good don't go fast drive the same way and i just was giving them rules and i came back inside Balcom ended up getting hurt he crashed into this light post you can tell he crashed into it so fast i don't even care about the light post i care about my son but i just want to show you guys this light post look at that and here's his go-kart and i and there's still blood on it i don't know if you can see the blood i take full blame i should have been out here with them i just I was just too trusting, I guess. Thank God, like thank God. God was for sure watching over him because he ended up just like busting his lip and then he got like a scratch um, in his groin and he cut his finger a little bit. It could have been worse. It could, and he was, thank God he was wearing his helmet. Like that's one thing I was like, put your helmet on. He was wearing his helmet. When I brought him inside, me and my mom were like, okay, this is, this is too much. Like he needs to stay inside like, just too many things are happening to him. I told him, I'm like, I'm sorry, like, you just can't go out, outside and play anymore. Like I'm gonna be watching him like a hawk. Let me see what you made for Balcom. Oh, what is that book for? What did you make that for? A book for Velka. So he can feel better. And look, and she brought him his favorite animal. What about you, P? Did you make him something? Oh, my wish. You made a wish list? Yeah. <laughs> your brother is injured, and you're, and she made a get well letter, and you made a wish list. It has hearts on it. Okay. More hearts. And a rainbow. Aww. And it has a square. Aw, that's so sweet of you. You feel better? I don't know if you guys can see. Let me see your list. You see how it's like swollen right there? It still hurts. It still hurts, my poor baby. The nail on his foot just ran into the pool. Like, yeah, it, too much is happening to welcome. All right, so it's been like uh, three hours and we just arrived to a farm, right? And we are here for an event. It's like a kids watch event, which is really cool. So like, this is not sponsored at all, but I, I just think it's crazy how like the world works. Yeah, yeah. So I bought this watch to, for Penelope like, over a year ago it's called a gab watch and it's basically like a phone for kids but they can only call and text the people that you let them and you control everything on their on your phone it's like an app and then they can also do chores and they have a little pet and they can do chores and you put coins in their little fake bank account and they can buy things for their pets and it's like a very you can even track them so i got that for her when she started public school because it was her first time ever at public school whatever anyways really small brand i found out about it and now we're going to one of their events I like got, literally right I, by I our house which is hold on which is really crazy because where we live there's no events that happen here it's all usually in miami or like la so i'm very excited to meet like everybody for the team the kids are here it's um let's do an outfit of the day because we're at a farm and we're all dressed up Wait, and um Playground. Yeah, and there's animals and we're all dressed up in like cowboy cowgirl aesthetics. You guys have the same cowboy boots on. Wait, we do? 
Yes. Oh my God. We're the same ones. We're well, there's Penelope's outfit. Let me see your outfit, Balcom. You're matching with Lexi. You have the same Oh, all you guys have the same boots on? Here's my outfit. Wow, baby. That's a crazy outfit. That's, that's beautiful. Damn, she got money. <laughs> <laughs> she got money. Yeah. Have you ever been on a YouTube channel? You have, right? Yeah, I think so. When they came, no? Just like in the... Oh, maybe not, maybe not. No, I think so. Well, this is Maybelline and this is Christian. They're famous on TikTok. <laughs> They're ultra famous on TikTok. Yeah, very famous. So we have a baby kangaroo. You guys can go on a hayride. You can feed the animal. Oh, oh. There's just honestly anything that you see out there, you guys get to do. And then we have best part, I think. Lots of donuts, lots of slushies. See, look at that baby. Oh my goodness. How old is or he or she? He, six months. Oh, oh my, months. so yeah. tiny. Is the blanket like the mama's pouch? Exactly. <gasps> Good job, P. Yep, they stay in That's the pouch my for about kid. a year. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel in there? Oh, it, it feels like a, a like really rough. Hey, 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 I'm gonna cover you up, okay? I'm Cider slushy. Bro. Oh, that's good, right? really good. Really that's good. delicious. Mommy, I love you, mommy. <gasps> Is this for me? Oh my god. <gasps> oh wow. I've never had somebody give me flowers before. Cool. Give me, give me, give me a besito. I love you. Thank you for my beautiful flowers. I'm gonna put it in my room and look at it every night before I go to sleep and the first thing when I wake up in the morning. And I'm gonna fart on him in the morning. Billy Joe, what's his name? Billy Joe? Jilly Bo. Jilly Bo. I'm a, who am I? You're Jolene. I'm Jolene. Penelope, who are you? Margaret. Uh, Margaret. And June. <laughs> Those are our names for our outfits today. We're all done with the event. It was very cool it was very fun there was like so many things for the kids to do like they were never bored they were never like i'm bored i'm bored so the adults were able to conversate so we're gonna go to a japanese restaurant it's so buzzy what do you guys do we're doing a soggy bomb so you just like hit the table once and then it falls inside and you like drink it chug so it it's just once it's supposed to be once it's supposed to be it's supposed to be like once and both and then you kiss after what? All right. <laughs> Randy always has to go somewhere, bro. Like that. Oh, he has to be on some stuff. You got yeah. cash? Oh. What flavor? Vanilla? Just plain. I'm disturbed right now. Ready? I'm gonna go away. I'm gonna go away. Right, three, two. What do you think about it? I think we scared the shit out of everyone. No, I know. Everybody, <laughs> everybody loves it. Everybody's still looking. <laughs> It was great. I loved it. Oh. Have it every time. The barbecue eel. Well, what do you think, bro? What do you think so far? I think fire, and that smells amazing. Guys, here's the beef curry. Ramsey got one, and the kids got one. So you already know that like, we all buy one. And then I had this other meal right here. That's crazy. That is a crazy meal. The best meal in the restaurant. Right serving there. the kids, and all I feel is like she's being a good mom serving the kids, and I'm grabbing her ass. We're home now. We're gonna go ahead and end out the vlog right here. Well, let's just do one last update. Balcom, how was your foot? I'm good. How is your mouth? Good or bad? You can, that's that's good. If he's acting silly, he's yeah, good. Yeah, he's acting weird. Yeah, he's good. good. So, not weird, silly. That's not weird. Make sure that you subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, Bram fam. Bye.